Imagine if you could literally make yourself feel as if you won a million dollars or make yourself feel as if you're in a certain place even when you have terrible things happen or certain situations happen and it's very difficult to maintain a good emotional state but you're able to tap into this reservoir of good emotion just by using your mind the power of your mind and you know if you think about what the law of assumption or the law of attraction talks about it talks about basically doing just that and you know it's kind of difficult to do it if you're allowing your mind to control you rather than you controlling your mind every single day you got to practice how to use your mind and it's even more important to practice this during hard times or during times that are very difficult that becomes the time to do it the most and see that's the hardest time to do it and that's the point actually because if you're trying to do this during the good times only when it's easy you're not able to maintain that state long enough to even manifest the things that you want and the whole point of getting your vibration higher and getting into the right frequency you make it so that you're more receptive to what you want because you got to think of it like this when you're ticked off you're not in any position to attract what you want or attract the life that you want in this in this life that you have to live and so you just make it a lot more difficult on yourself when you're trying to manifest from a state of self-pity or anger or frustration when you're feeling any of these emotions you make it 10 times more difficult to manifest anything so really really practice and one of the things that I thought about was creating an actual script, not a long lengthy script, but just a few lines of what your ideal life would look like. And, you know, it could be like just a paragraph, but something that's easy to remember. And when you repeat this script, you have one for the morning, you have one for the afternoon, and you have one before you go to bed. And it's important, the one that you do before you go to sleep is really important because this, this one is where your mind is in a relaxed state. You're more receptive and you're, the important reason why you do it morning, afternoon and night is so you can keep it top of mind. It has to be on your mind constantly. So the scripts that you make for yourself morning, afternoon and evening, think of it like a sales script. You repeat the sales script every single day. It's top of mind, you know it, front to back. If somebody interrupts you or objects you, you can handle the objection and get right back into the script. And it really is that simple when scripting anything. You know, scripting for sales or scripting for your life is very similar. So, treat it like that, treat it like a sales script and you're basically selling yourself on the idea as well you know you're selling yourself on the idea that it is possible because a lot of times we may say we think something is possible for ourselves but subconsciously we don't believe that we can do it or we don't believe that we can handle it if you do it correctly and you script things correctly and you recite them correctly with intent behind it. Something's gonna happen. Brainwash yourself into having the life that you wanna have. 
And you do that simply by brain, basically brainwashing yourself to do it. And it's not that difficult once you get used to it. Meditation. You're using a form of meditation while you do this. And this is what makes it so much more powerful. You're in a meditative state while you are focusing on what you want to manifest. You have to script as if you have it. You, you act like you have it already, all right? Think about an actor or an actress. When an actor or an actress is deeply ingrained in that role that they're doing, sometimes they psychologically need therapy because the role becomes so entrenched in them, especially if it's a traumatic role, they become traumatized by the role that they played. They literally acted it so good that they needed therapy. There's a, a long list of actors that needed therapy after doing the movie. So, it's the same thing while scripting something more positive for your life and acting as though it is you. Now, it is already done. It is a done deal. And if you can embody that right now, in the present moment, now you've unlocked a serious power that not many people are able to do. So just be proud of yourself for the fact that you can do something like that. And it has compound interest. So the more that you do your scripting, the more that you act out your script, the more you're going to attract more favorable things that you're looking to attain or situations, favorable situations that you want to be in will start to arise in your life. I want to talk about automatic negative thoughts because hum us human beings, we have automatic negative thoughts that just are intrusive. If you're a human being, you have them. Everybody does. But the real skill comes when you're able to step mentally step in front of those automatic negative thoughts and replace them with more favorable thoughts. And when you do this during times where it's difficult, like you're having a difficult time, it's very hard and you're kind of ticked off and you just want to lash out, you want to complain, you want to do all kinds of things, right? It's normal. It's normal to want to do that. But if you're able to maintain this, this is a huge skill. Like this skill right here can change everything. It can change everything immediately. And then there's going to be a byproduct of change cascading after that. See, negative soil and positive soil are the same thing. The only difference is the fruit that they grow. You grow strange fruit, bad fruit, or you're gonna grow good fruit, nutritious and nurturing fruits. So it's all up to the person. That's how thoughts work, you know? So it's all up to the person and how they want to regulate their thoughts. Regulating your thoughts and your thought patterns is the first step to outward manifestation because it first has to start within. And if you can't gain control of your emotions within, your outward world won't reflect your internal state if you cannot control that. It's actually easier said than done, but you have to be cognizant every single day. You have to notice when things are starting to get discombobulated. Like me, I do a lot of driving. Driving gets annoying after a while, especially if other drivers are driving inconsiderately or ineffectively and you have, uh, you know, you gotta use the bathroom, you're on the road, you're, so it's a stressful thing, but take the most stressful thing in your life and practice on that. Practice on the most stressful thing in your life, whether it's relationships with other people, whether it's something at work, anything, 
and practice using the mind control method on that thing, on the thing that's stressing you out the most. And that's where you're gonna have the mental exercise and the fortitude to get you where you need to go in life. So, and the reason why I think a lot of people don't manifest what they want in life is because they keep backsliding, they keep going back to the negative thought and the negative thought repeats like a loop. It just loops and loops in their brains, M me included, uh, I do it all the time. I'm just noticing that the way to get out of it is to get really good and really skilled at controlling the thought process. Do whatever you gotta do to maintain it. I think scripting is good. I think reading positive things are very good. And I also think that uh, meditation on the words are excellent. Until next time, we'll see you again.